Okay, I've been looking for this for a while, so it finally got back in stock. And I was just going to one of the stores I'd normally go through, just running through different stores, seeing what they got, seeing what's popping up. So I seen this in here. I like the price on it. So I had to grab it. Um, this is the Ruger 5.7 pistol. Owner's manual. Shows you how to break it down. All this stuff. All this good information on the firearm. So it's definitely good to keep that. Illustrated pictures and everything. So it came with that. A Ruger sticker. Well, two stickers is separate. Uh, some more information. To their website and stuff like that. Came in that plastic bag. That's what it looks like. It also came with two 20 round magazines, which was good because these go for around between I've been seeing prices between $30 and $40. Probably grab a couple more, but it's not a big rush on these right now. 20 rounds. 40 rounds is good for right now. To start with two mags. A lock as usual. A flag, which is good to have. Fiber optic front sight. I really like how these sights line up. I haven't shot it yet, but I really like how these sights line up. Protectory of safety. The gun is real light. I'm gonna throw it on the scale. But you can add a um, red dot to the top. I'll probably get one of those eventually. Um, they got the cutout on the slide. I'm gonna throw a couple flashlights on here and see um, what it looked like. I'm thinking the 850 already, the bigger light. The rear sight is adjustable. I'm not sure about the front. Lock the slide back like that. That's what it looked like with the mag in there. You probably can switch this. I'll check that in the manual too. drop free mags so that's cool that usually don't bother some people but I like the drop free mag I don't like to have to you know pull it out but I like that feature some guns be kind of tough on that front serrations so that's cool long gun I didn't want to pay that price for the FN so when this came out I want to say early this year or late last year I wanted to get my hands on one but as soon as they came out they was out of stock then COVID hit so it was even harder to get one so when I seen it I had to grab it price was decent it's like right here and then it break the reset is kind of long so right about right here is where the wall, I feel like the wall is right here. Then it breaks. But yeah, you can see where the reset at. About right there. So you can hear it. So it's about right there. And then the wall is right here. So, wall here, break. Reset. So the trigger feels good right there, but I definitely see when I fire it. But other than that, overall looks, I like how it look. Like I said, it got the cutout up here. It's not heavy at all. It's real slim. And like I said, it's real light. So I'm gonna check it on the scale right quick. The scale is coming out as a pound and a half, one pound and five ounces. And that's without a mag, no ammo. Of course, with the ammo, that'll change. I'm going to put the mag so in. The empty mag is a pound, one pound, eight ounces, 8.4 ounces. And that's with an empty mag in it. Compare it to the Canic 
TPS 9 and that's without a mag so you're looking at almost two pounds and that's a nine millimeter and that's the Ruger 57 so I like how it's real see light. See how the recoil is by the gun being so light. But we definitely gonna see how the recoil is. Big trigger guard. So if you got gloves on, I like to shoot in the winter time anyway. So that's pretty much enough space for some gloves. Uh, I'm gonna field strip it and I'm gonna grab that flashlight and then see which one of my holsters fit well with this. This is for the red dot. So it already got the uh, screws. So you can get the adapter on there to get you a red dot. I'll be looking into that soon. Um, it do have a chamber indicator up here. That's cool. And this is the trigger safety. So without that middle piece being pulled in, it don't suppose to fire. These could be a little more aggressive, but you know, it feels good, but it's not that aggressive. Like on a Taurus G3, they, they real aggressive on there, so it's pretty smooth. The mag release is right here, and this is a light material. And the manual it says, glass reinforced nylon. So one piece glass reinforced Me nylon. gun that says, it looked like it would be heavy. Slide release is kind of hard, but it'll probably break in. But that was kind of hard. I didn't have smoother ones than that. And of course, this is when it's in fire, and that's when it's on safety. And this is reversible. So if you want a uh, left hand shooter, you can take this out and put it on this side. And they show you how to break that down in the manual, how to do that. All right, the field strip this one is not as probably fast as, or common as the Glock. Maybe to some people, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I use this to push this in. So I'm gonna push this in, not all the way. I'm gonna push it in on here. It's gonna make a little click noise. So I'm not going to go all the way through. Let's see if you can see it. So that little noise right there, I use that to push it in. You probably find something else to use. I just wanted something round that fit on there. So you get this like that. You bring that down where you hear that click. Then you come back. And then you come up. And it comes off. So like on the Glock, you know, some of them you pull the trigger and they slide for. So this one is comes back and up, but it explains that in the owner manual too. So that's what it looks like in the inside. Guide rod assembly. Guide rod assembly. That's the barrel. Everything look like it's nice and lubed inside of there. So we're gonna put this back together real quick. Guide rod goes all the way down to the bottom. So we got that. So when you put this back together, like I said, it don't go like this. Like how most of the other guns slide on the tracks. It starts back here where these grooves is at. Okay, you'll slide it in back here right in this part that's where those go so front has to go down first then when it's down like that then you bring your slab back sometimes you might have to pull it back a little further because you need that close goes up like that then you release the slab and it should be back here. And you can push that back in. You're gonna hear that click. And you're good. So something to get used to is not as common to me. Maybe it's some other guns out there that's on that type of same platform. I think the FN is something like that, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's just like that, and that's in the owner's manual, but maybe not as fast as the Glocks and the everybody that's on that type of design but it is what it is on that so that's how you feel strip it now i'm gonna try the holsters real quick then i'll so do this flashlight. gun is so slim it's long but it's slim so i'm gonna start with my small 
this is my large and that's for guns with the lights and lasers mag pouch so the mag pouch fit the Ruger mags so we good on that so that's cool on there okay the small most likely I'm gonna carry small this what you get with small of course you're gonna have this hanging out the gun is so long you will get this little rock but that's because how small the gun is but it's in there it's definitely in there so I will go with the small with this um, I'm gonna try it in the medium show you how that is and that will be in the waistband carry um, this will be if it's if you're a left hand shooter and this will be if you're a right hand shooter and then like in the front appendix so I'll get a medium and try it in a medium okay with the medium this is the medium so you can see the size difference like I said medium you get the same rock but this gun is so slim it fit but I'm, I want to go for the more snug fit so I will go with small but if you already got a medium holster you still can carry it in the Ruger 5.7 so you'll still be good on that it's just a lot more rock to it and that's just based on how the gun is designed this is the canic tpx tps 9 see you don't get rock like that and that's just because the gun is wider heavier you know all of that so that's what it would look the canic would look like in a medium so if you already got a mat uh medium you still can go in there like that but I'm gonna use my small. I'm gonna use my small way snugger fit. Because in my small, sometimes I, if I don't carry my Glock 19 with a flashlight, it'll go in my small too for a real tight fit. So that's the small and the medium. Um, covered the mag pouch. Now I'm gonna try a flashlight on it. Not gonna put this one on. I mean, that's cool. But that's where the night stick fits in at over here. So you definitely gonna wanna be able to engage the button. So I think I wanna go with the 850. I don't know if this rail is gonna match up yet, but I got plenty of adapters. Yeah, that'll match up. See, I like that look right there. So I'm gonna leave the 850 on here. Cause these ones is more for the compact guns. get it tighter but that's just for this right now so that's what it'll look like with the night stick 850 night stick 850 xl and here's the large holster okay so with the large that's what you're gonna get so large is for firearms with the flashlight and lasers and of course these break in after a while they're gonna be closed but this was the one one that I use all the time for my Glock and whatever. So it will loosen up and go back to, you know, not all the way closed like brand new, but it'll loosen up. Depending on what gun you carry in the most. 850 XL, you go with the large holster. I'll put the link to my website in the description. Also available on eBay, Etsy, and Amazon. But for flashlights similar to this size and this setup, go with the large I'm not gonna put the Olight on there because it's so small and it's more so for compact guns like these ones be more so you know shorter barrel guns so this one will go I ain't got the plate match matched up but something like this and that'll go in large too so next video I got to get some ammo for this um, I'm going to get some regular ammo with a Federal and then I'll get some different rounds and see how I fire and do some comparisons. Maybe 9mm versus 5.7 or 40 or however. So, it'll be a lot of videos coming 
soon with this gun. And I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep this flashlight on there. And I'm gonna start looking forward to getting the adapter and the red dot. I don't know which one I'm gonna go with yet, but it's definitely going there. And I like how these sights line up. So. Motivation, I see your movement is in effect. And I'm fucking with that shit. Let's get it.